host, Grayson Grunhafer. And today, big transfer portal news. Tyler Buckner, the quarterback from Notre Dame, is transferring to Alabama. Uh, this is massive, and, it, and it's something that I think is going to bring up quite a few questions about the Crimson Tide going into next season. Uh, but let's start with Buckner. So he reunites with Tommy Reese, the new offense coordinator at Alabama, uh, who was at Notre Dame, of course, last year. Uh, Tommy Reese was also his lead recruiter, uh, the guy who named him the starter going into last season. And of course, last year did not turn out the way it was supposed to for Buckner. He got injured, uh, didn't play great as well, uh, had some uh, ups and downs early in the season, played well late in the year against South Carolina, especially in their bowl game. Uh, so showed some flashes at times, but overall was just simply the quarterback he has been um, at Notre Dame and I don't think last year really proved much of anything uh, about what he can bring to the table. Uh, he's a career 57% completion percentage guy, has six touchdowns to eight interceptions uh, when it comes to throwing the football. He also does have seven rushing touchdowns, so there's an element there on the ground that I guess is pretty intriguing. But, you know, for me, I think this is simply a question of, you know, what type of questions does this bring up about Alabama? Are they just bringing in a leader, a guy who can come in, stabilize the room for all their young uh, quarterbacks? Or is this a situation where Nick Saban wants to bring in an older guy to actually be the quarterback this year? Um, I think that if it is that reason, if he is bringing in Tyler Buckner to be the quarterback for Alabama this upcoming year, I have major doubts and major concerns about Alabama going into the 2023 season because... Simply put, Buckner, I think, has kind of shown who he is and kind of what he can be uh, during his short, you know, I know it's a short time in Notre Dame, it's a small sample size, but he has, in my opinion, played in enough games, especially games recently, for us to kind of know what he is at this point. So the issue here is when you look at Alabama's depth chart, you see a bunch of four and five star guys who either A, simply haven't been developed the way they need to be, or B, they're just not ready. I think either answer, if it's either of those, it's a problem uh, because I do think the guys on their depth chart raise the ceiling for Alabama more so than Buckner does. So if you're bringing him in, you're looking for a stabilizing force. And the issue in my eyes for Alabama is I don't know that they're going to be able to win to the level that they're used to with just a stabilizing, stabilizing force in the SEC this year. I, I think we're seeing it. You know, there's teams that are loading up with talent all over them in the SEC. And we're seeing, you know, Georgia, you know, they got Carson Beck, a guy who had a great spring, who everyone's really excited about. And then you look at Alabama and you saw their spring game and you saw Jalen Milrow and Ty Simpson struggle. You saw their, you know, their young guys, their true freshmen, you know, going out and kind of competing with the guys who have been on the roster. And so it's a major problem. And it is something that I'm going to sit back and evaluate and watch because whether you're bringing him in as a leader or uh, to start, that's a huge difference. Um, and based on what we saw this spring from the quarterback room for Alabama, I have some serious doubts about what this team is going to look like in 2023. Now, again, this is me comparing Alabama to what they normally are. And last year they were good they weren't great and the only reason they were good is because Bryce Young was there to kind of cover up some of their mistakes this year they don't have Bryce Young so they're going to have to rely more so on kind of Nick Saban's old philosophy which was great defense they're going to try to run the football I think a little bit better this year uh, and not put as much much pressure on their quarterback position but the problem is they're going to be in plenty of games this year where they're going to need their quarterback to be a playmaker and right now I don't see a playmaker on their roster at the quarterback position, uh, whether that's Buckner, an older guy, or one of their their young guys. They really need someone to step up and be more than just a game manager going into the 2023 season. So again, big news for Alabama, big news in the transfer portal all around. Tons of guys entering. Obviously, you know, you can't enter anymore, but at this moment, a lot of guys still in the portal. A lot of questions for many teams in the country who are going to go out and add transfers, and Bama decided to use a transfer on a quarterback in Tyler Buckner. Uh, thanks for listening. We'll be back later in this week with a few more videos, uh, but this has been Crystal Ball College Football.